Hey there! Happy New Year to all of you women helping women entrepreneurs out there. So happy to be here uh, with my first Facebook Live in this group for 2021. Hope your new year is off to a great start. And today's topic that I'm going to be sharing with you is very relevant as we enter upon this new year. And if you're interested in creating massive success for 2021, you'll want to continue listening to this training. So as you're joining us, please let me know um, where you're joining from and uh, go ahead and put a um, hashtag live if you're listening live or a hashtag replay if you're listening to the replay. So um, today we're going to be talking about creating your prosperity plan for 2021. So um, like I said, it's really important to, to um, not go into this year blind, but to be really crystal clear as to what you want to create going into this year with intention. Now, I know um, many of us had, um, you know, some rough times in 2020, but 2021 is a new year, and it's really up to you as to what you make of it. So with today's training um, and the plan that we're going to create together, you can um, really be able to ensure your um, success for your business and really generate the income that you desire. So if you are just joining us, please let me know that you're there. Send me some love. Let me know you're here uh, so I don't feel all alone. Um, so today we're talking about creating your prosperity plan for 2021. So um, there are um, very specific questions that we're going to be going through. So if you have a pen and paper handy, that is going to be super helpful. Grab that and you'll want to take some notes. You can go back and add to the information that I'm going to be sharing with you today because um, it's about, you know, 30 minutes here. So we have to go pretty fast through the information and uh, I want to make sure you don't miss a thing. All right. So where we're going to start with this is for you to create your theme for 2021. So what is your theme? Maybe your theme is to collaborate or you know collaboration or maybe your theme is to um, up in a bigger way maybe your theme is to um, tap into flow ease and grace or maybe your theme is gratitude or maybe your theme is abundance or um, whatever scaling you know, maybe your, your plan is to scale and your whole theme is about scaling. So whatever it is for you, um, I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and pop in the comments what your theme is going to be for 2021. Your big vision of what you're wanting to create, um, really creating this theme is, is going to be um, very inspiring for you moving forward into this new year. So that is the first step to create your theme. Um, Again, if you're joining us, please let me know you're here. Um, would love to hear from you. Okay. So I'm trying to see here if I can access the comments. So, um, all right. So grab your pen and paper if you haven't already. So we put our theme down for 2021. The next step is to think about the awesome projects that you're going to be creating in your business that will help to support you um, along the way. So what are some projects that you're going to be focusing on this year? So maybe you're going to be developing a, um, a new offer. So the, well, actually, let's back up here. Um, instead of projects, let's let's think of more of a um, theme. So like now, what is the big new thing? Before we jump into projects, scratch that. What is the big new thing you're going to create in your business? Let's go with that. Um, so think about how you might be able to level up your business this year. Show up in a bigger way. Really make a bigger impact in your business. So what is that for you? Maybe you're um, going to be creating more speaking 
engagements. Maybe you're going to create a Facebook group. Maybe you're going to um, a new program or offer a new service. Even better yet, create a, a high-end offer for your business. That's what I love to teach. Um, so what is it that you plan on incorporating into your business this year, creating in your business to really level things up? So go ahead and write down what's coming up for you in that space. And uh, if you'd like to share that, go ahead and post that in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. All right. So now what I want you to think about is what is your income goal for 2021? I think first of, of your yearly income goal, but what I want you to put down here is your monthly income goal. So if you want to translate that yearly income goal into a monthly, um, you know, just divide by 12 and come up with maybe you want to start um, finally making six figures in your business. So I guess it would be about 8,000 or so, um, you know, to, to get there uh, per month give or take, um, or, you know, maybe your goal is to make 20000 a month or 30000 a month, whatever it is. I want that to be a number that you feel is possible, but a number that actually stretches you. Uh, so go ahead and think about what that is. I don't necessarily want you to just pick a random number. Kind of think about, you know, your offerings and what your plans are for the year. And we're going to be kind of breaking that down a little bit more. So if you need to wait uh, to, to fill in that number, that's okay too. Um, but you, you know, you have the means to get to that goal. But again, I want it to be a stretch. I want this to be the most profitable year yet for you. All right, so go ahead and write down your monthly income goal um, on your paper. And then we're gonna move on. Now we're ready to explore what are the awesome projects that you are going to be um, putting in place or working on in your business to support that goal. So um, maybe um, it is creating a new offer. So you're working on the project of creating your new offer. Um, maybe it's you're updating your online presence. Maybe you want to show up in a bigger way, um, become more of an expert authority online, so you have to update. Um, maybe you're wanting to increase your strategy sessions or discovery sessions this year. So that's a big project that you have. So think about what it is for you. I would say go ahead and pick projects three main projects. It could be up to five, but at least three projects that you'll be focusing on this year that will help you to obtain your, your income goal. So go ahead and write that down. We are going to continue to move on uh, because we have limited time, but if you need to go back to this, please do. All right, so the next question you want to ask yourself is, what are top inspired action steps that you can take to get the party started? to really get after it and get things rolling in your business. So some action steps, I'm going to give you some examples. Maybe, you know, the action step is to actually, if you're wanting to improve your presence, right, and update your online presence. So obviously an action step would be to optimize your, your profile. So whether it's on LinkedIn or Facebook or um, you know, you're going to revamp uh, Instagram, whatever your platform of choice is, um, you know, so that would be necessary in order to um, your online presence or, or really be seen as the expert that you are. Another idea would be to commit to reaching out to five new prospects per day um, and what that would entail. Another one might be um, maybe you're going to uh, jump on um, LinkedIn and direct message five people per day. Or um, um, maybe you're going to do that in Facebook. So making a, a specific commitment to reach out to so many people on um, your preferred platform. Um, another thing is you can create an email campaign um, that leads to people signing up for your um, or strategy sessions. So think about, you know, a, a, maybe an email sequence you could send out um, that 
able to get to know, like, and trust you and you nurture that relationship. And then maybe at the end of that email campaign, you invite them to take the next step with you and inviting them to a strategy session or discovery. Maybe you are wanting to perfect your sales script, so you're going to really practice your script so um, you can feel confident in um, really being able to um, sell authentically and close some um, more deals. So those are just a few examples, but think about at least five action steps that you will take to start um, working towards your, your projects that will allow you to reach your, your income goal. All right. So let me know if you guys are there. Let me know how you're feeling. We'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and give me some love. Um, and uh, let me know if you're enjoying this so far. All right. So the next area we want to look at is um, for ease and speed in your business. Well, here we're talking about leveraging your time, making a bigger impact, right? Um, I'm going to be partnering with. So think about who you can align yourself with this year, who you can partner with, collaborate with. So, um, you know, you're working together. So finding a individual or a business that um, has a similar audience to you, that you can join forces and you can provide value to their community and maybe they can provide more value to your community and you're working in collaboration together in order to do that. So think about who you might want to partner with. Um, and so it could be maybe you're going to partner with a podcaster or um, be connected to a Facebook group or the founder of the Facebook group and, um, you know, share um, or do a training in their group. Um, maybe you're going to partner with a local business. So think about three ideas of different people or, or companies or businesses and um, align yourself with or partner with so you can expand your reach. All right, and the next area we're going to look, uh, look at is to lean in. So this uh, requires you to kind of stretch uh, beyond your boundaries you've set for yourself and step outside your comfort zone a little bit. And I want you to think about how you can show up in a bigger way this year. So maybe it's going live on video more often or maybe for and now you're going to start as for example could be um a way um maybe you're going to reach out podcasts that you want to um be part of and speak on maybe you're going to pitch your article idea to um, a magazine that you'd like to be featured in so think of three ways that you are going to lean in and go for it this year so go ahead and Things. All right, now we're going to look at our mindset. So as we level up our business and, and we start growing and doing new things in our business and putting ourselves out there in a bigger way, it requires us to um, or shift our mindset, right? So what mindset magic needs to happen in order to make your goals a reality? So maybe you have to increase your money mindset. Maybe you've created uh, a ceiling or um, an income barrier um, that you want to um, break through this year. So you have to let go of some limiting or negative beliefs around that. Um, maybe you are um, not focusing on what's possible, but you're choosing to focus on your current situation. Maybe you're like, well, gosh, my goal is um, six figures this year, but I've never been able to do that before. I want you to start focusing just on what's possible. Have other people been able to do that? Um, with the new offer thing that you're going to be creating, is it possible to put that out there and generate that type of income? So I want you to start expanding your realm of possibility. Um, and then another way that we could potentially shift our mindset is um, to focus on what we're grateful for. So it's really about operating from the space of positivity. And, um, you know, a great way to do that is through gratitude. So um, uh, one way to shift your mindset is to focus on five things you're doing each and every day in your life or in your business. So that can be a way that you can shift your mindset. So write down three ways that you're going to work on um, really shifting your mindset for success this year. 
Now the, the final um, step in question that um, I want to share with you is um, I want you to think about where you're going to invest. So you want to invest in different things that are going to help you with your return on investment. So it's always essential as a business owner to invest into your business and also into yourself. Um, and, you know, then you can actually, there's no better investment that you can make than in yourself. But if you really believe in your business, it is essential that you invest in your business as well. So um, just some ideas. You want to think of five ways to um, how you're going to invest in your business to help grow your business in 2021. So maybe it's investing in a platform um, that will help you grow your business. Maybe like you're wanting to create some sales funnels. You have to invest in uh, click funnels or groove funnels or or one of those platforms. Um, you know, so pick one that that resonates with you, that's in alignment with you and what your goals are. And, um, you know, if, if you see that as a way for you to build your business, then go for it and invest that in that. Another way is potentially investing in a virtual assistant. Um, so uh, that could be a little scary, uh, you know, investing in your business that way. But I guarantee it's the right move if it frees up time for you to focus on your genius zone and the things that you're good at, um, the things that only you could do, because often... As business owners, we just get caught up in doing the day-to-day -day stuff, um, and we're not really focusing on the um, needle movers in our business, the things that are really going to generate the income or get us new clients, right, or be able to service our clients properly. Another area is um, maybe you're going to focus on spending more time working on your business versus in your business, kind of what I was just saying. So really thinking of ways you can show up as a leader, a CEO of your company and really looking at the bigger uh, picture, making sure you have everything in place in order to reach your long-term goals. Another area is um, investing in tools that will help you simplify your business. This is another great way, um, another great investment you could make because it's all about really making sure you have a seamless um, client journey experience and you know simplifying it as much as possible so it's simple for your clients but also simple for you or your team uh, you know to run your business and that requires putting the proper tools in place um, maybe you want to start doing more um, videos this year so you need to invest in creating um, the proper setting for those videos, a little studio. Maybe you need um, proper lighting or you want to get a new microphone, whatever it is. So again, this is going to be different for everyone. So think about five ways that you can business and in yourself. Um, another great thing to think about is, you know, just because we have an expertise and we're gifted at something doesn't mean we necessarily know how to run a business successful. Investment um, requires or, or should be uh, investing in your, your business help you need. Um, so investing in a business coach to help you um, implement your business plan, come up with an effective strategy for you and be able to implement the plan. Um, so, you know, that a lot of time and to it. Um, you know, I would say about 95% of the people struggle with this because they're like, okay, I have this great um, service or program or whatever to offer and I know it's valuable and great and they want to put it out there and they just don't know exactly the best way to do that. So if you're not clear, you know, then you get the help that you need. So those are the areas. Those are the, um, the main areas that you want to focus on. And I'm just going to go through that very quickly again. So creating your theme for the year. What is your theme for the year? The next step is to decide what you're going to create. That's really going to help you level up your business this year in 2021. The next thing is to focus on what is your revenue going to be um, to a monthly income goal. The next area is what awesome projects are to support your goal. 
So think of three things there. Then the next area is what are the five top inspired actions I'm going to take to really get things rolling? And then the next area is for ease and speed, who am I going to partner with this year to get more exposure to my ideal clients and leverage my time? Um, expand my opportunities. So pick three um, areas or, or potential people or companies that you can align yourself with this year. The next one is where am I going to lean in and go for it? So what are you going to do to really stretch yourself this year and be seen in a bigger way? So list three things there. Then the next one is creating your mindset shift. What is the mindset magic you're going to create um, and what needs to happen in order for you to reach your income goal. And then finally, five things. You want to list five ways that you're going to invest in your business or in yourself this year to um, ensure that you reach your uh, desired level of success. So there you go. There is your prosperity plan for 2021. Now, I want to ask you a few questions. Um, so if you ever have any of these thoughts or questions, I want you to um, let me know because um, I want to get real here with you for a moment. So do you ever wonder what products or services should I be offering? What are the best marketing strategies for me? Or do you ever wonder what do my ideal clients want to hear in terms of content? Um, or how can I feel motivated and inspired every day? Or maybe you wonder, what should my daily or weekly focus be to grow my business? Or am I on the right? A lot of times we're wondering if we're focusing on the right things, right? And then finally, do you ever wonder, what is my quickest path to profit? Now, if you resonate with any of these questions at all, I would love to be able to assist you in getting the answers to those questions. And I would love to invite you to my Passion to Profits Bootcamp, which is my challenge coming up January 11th through the 20th. And this is a, a, a program that I developed. Um, I've run it a couple times super successfully. And this really will help you to stop spinning your wheels and start making the money you desire in your business once and for all. You're gonna learn the exact steps and how you can use your gifts to make the biggest impact and generate a significant income. So um, that the uh, challenge is gonna take place in my Passionista Nation Facebook group. Um, I posted the link to be able to learn more about the Passion of Profits Bootcamp. Again, it's free. Um, when you register, you're not only going to um, be registered for the event, obviously, but you're going to get um, email reminders so you don't miss a thing. But um, even more importantly, you're going to get access to your Passion to Profits Bootcamp workbook to help you implement what you're learning every day. So each day for nine days, except for a Sunday, um, we're uh, for about 30 to 45 minutes, there's going to be very, very... Um, uh, specific training around different topics that are going to allow you to grow your mindset and your business. And um, then you can utilize that workbook to really um, start putting into play what you're learning. Also, if you register, you're going to get access to a bonus training that um, that we have exclusive for, to only those who register. So um, if this sounds interesting to you, I would love to have you part of this free powerful event to really kick off 2021 in the most um, effective, powerful way. So um, please let me know if this is something that you resonate with. And even better yet, click on the link I provide to go ahead and uh, reserve your spot today. So I want to thank you so much for joining today. I want to wish you an amazing, prosperous, and abundant 2021. Um, I'm going to be showing up here weekly. Um, to bring you um, more value, to help you grow your business. But um, again, thank you for being here. I look forward to connecting with you soon. And until next time, be courageous, take inspired action, and go out there and share your gifts with the world. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.